Hello everyone and welcome to the DeerCast. Um, you're joining us um, in July. Um, we're recording this video uh, right in the middle um, of uh, a very hot spell. Um, we've obviously had some really hot weather uh, in June as well. Uh, and we just thought we'd bring a really, really short video to you guys, um, warning you um, of something that may happen to your rifle scope, ammunition setup, whatever you want to call it, uh, in some of this hot weather. So um, I'm sure most of you will probably already be aware of this, but um, air density changes um, when it gets hotter and colder. Uh, and of course, uh, that therefore has an impact uh, on our bullet trajectory. So as the weather gets colder, air gets more dense, and it slows bullets down, and so point of impact um, is lower. Therefore, as it gets hotter, air gets less dense, and point of impact is higher. Um, so just a real warning to all of you out there, um, that if you zeroed and set up your rifle right in the midst of winter, you may just want to go out and check uh, where your point of impact is, especially now when we've got sort of uh, 25 to 28 degree um, temperatures, to see whether your point of impact um, has adjusted particularly relevant for us at the moment when we're going out um, uh, and probably doing a little bit more head and neck shooting um, than we would do at other times of year just because that cover is so high um, and so therefore um, the difference of a bullet hitting an inch or two inches higher than it, it normally would um, can be quite significant. Um, there are also other factors to take into consideration with the weather changes so um, depending on how uh, temperature stable your powder is you may find it burns faster, hotter, um, in this hotter weather, you may find it doesn't change at all. Um, so really just a plug um, for all of you to go out there, put a couple of uh, rounds down range and just see where your rifle is uh, in some of this hot weather. Hope you're all having a fantastic Roebuck season um, and we're uh, bring, hoping to bring you some videos um, at the end of the season to let you know what we've been up to during Roebuck season, bring you some examples of some of the Roebucks we've shot um, and yeah, catch up with you all soon.